Quick Parts are a useful feature in Word, allowing you to copy things that you're going to use quite often into a gallery and then paste them in as you wish. To do it, first select some text, go to the Insert menu and choose Quick Parts. And from the drop-down options, you want to copy the, the selected text into the Quick Part gallery. You get a dialog box which allows you to define the, some basic details, the name, the gallery in which it's going to be stored, and so on. A description can also be added. We're going to repeat this process as well as for the top of this document. We're going to use the bottom of the document as well and create another quick part. So we're going to select the text at the bottom. Go to the Quick Parts options on the Insert menu and copy the selection to the Quick Part Gallery. Again, we can define this particular building block. A building block is a more general term of which Quick Parts are included. Once we have created our two Quick Parts, we can open up a new document and use the quick part, insert quick parts, to put either or both of these into our document. So we go to the insert menu, go to the quick parts on the toolbar, and you can see the two that we've saved into our quick part gallery. We can insert those easily. And as you create more and more quick parts, they'll all be listed here, and you can basically see them one after the other and insert them into the document. Now we're going to insert the second one. So we choose the ending of our document and we insert it in. So quick parts allow you to have a very useful feature. So at this stage we've created two quick parts for easy insertion to any of our Word documents. We're now going to have a look at the Building Blocks Organizer, which includes all quick parts that we have already created, allowing us to delete them or to edit their properties. As well as including quick parts, it includes a whole range of other building blocks, including things like bibliographies, as you can see here, and also a range of equations. Uh, there are some cover pages as well, and there's also various formats for numbering, inserting numbers, and we're now going to have a look at the quick parts that we've just created. So selecting one, this is our end of our document uh, that we created earlier on. And we're going to click on the start of the document as well, the inserting a standard start for a document. We can click on edit properties and this will pull up the properties that we created earlier. And we can modify these as appropriate. In this case, I'm just going to click OK and not make any changes. One nice feature of the building blocks is the watermarks that can be included at the bottom. Now these can be included and inserted into Word elsewhere, but if you scroll down to the bottom here, you have a range of watermarks that you can uh, modify uh, or you can insert into your document. So in this case, we've got things like urgent and sample, also draft and various ones for confidential. And we're going to insert the ASAP to give you an example of inserting a building block other than one of the quick parts. So select the ASP, ASAP and insert, click on the Insert menu and this will allow us to put a watermark of ASAP on our document as can be seen here. 